What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I did something incredible today. This is actually something I've been working on for a long time and so I know it took a long time to bring you guys this but I think it's gonna be worth it and what I did today was go undefeated okay with none other than Dino. Yeah I'm not even lying to you guys. I played Dino today and uh, I went completely undefeated. Now this is a deck that I've been working on for I think over a month at this point just kind of theory crafting understanding how the format is and, and how we can build this deck to combat against today's format. The reason I wanted to bring you guys this list now, the reason I've been working so hard on it, is because I actually just started my own Metafy. That is right. I built Dino and I've been thinking of all the different builds. The True King builds, we're talking the Azamina builds, which if you guys don't know about that one, that one's in the course as well. We're talking about Scrap builds, all these different builds, Nemesis builds. And in that course, I pretty much talk about all the different builds you guys can play, all the different reasons to play different builds, what cards to play, what ratios to play, and everything. All the combos are in there too. I think I have like nine or ten combos in that course you guys can go check out the course and then uh you guys are gonna get all you need to know about dino now i also want to mention it's black friday right now so essentially until the end of november you guys are getting 30 percent off anything you guys grab on metify it helps support the channel and again it took me a while to build the course but i think the course is uh everything you're ever gonna need to know about dino every single list every single version every single card future formats past formats current format you're gonna see it all in that course. So make sure to check out the Metafy. The link is gonna be at the top of the description below. But with that being said, I wanna show you guys my undefeated first place Dino deck profile here. Now, this is my prizing. I'm gonna open this up, but later in the video, I'm gonna open it up at the end, because I'm sure you guys are not here for a pack opening. You guys are here for a deck profile. So let's get right into it, okay? We're playing three OV Raptor. Now, OV Raptor is obviously the best normal summon of the deck. In my course, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna explain the cards here, but if you guys want a full rundown, card well, by card, choice, by choice it's in that course not to sell it to you guys but it's in there right but ov raptor best normal summon of the deck of course you guys are going to be playing three three baby cerasaurus as well as one petite pteranodon these are the best ratios in my opinion i wouldn't play more than one of this i'm playing the nemesis build if you if you guys don't know already i focused on a card in the extra deck that i think was just amazing in today's format so i'll talk about that when i get into it so one petite pteranodon is all you need we're playing two archosaur and one miss i was actually debating between one or two archosaur i think two just makes so much more sense it actually combos with baby pretty well if you um normal if you have this and this you can normal this pop this and you have full combo anyways now the nice thing about dino that i want to talk about is all of these cards are essentially two card combos if you open ov baby ov misc misc baby baby arco like these are all two card combos which is insane and there's even more consistency than that that i'll talk about we're also playing one giant rex two ultimate conductor tyranno uh one xeno meteoris and one fire opal head uh this could be any one of the level six dinos um this one's the one i'm playing just because it's a fire so if i ever see like goes in or something this is still live because you can still pop this summon this so that's what, that's the only reason there's no actual reason to play this over the other ones and then giant rex over kai top terra kai top terra i think i'm saying that right i'm just choosing this to, it, they're the same card essentially this is just a bigger body so i like playing this one there's, there's no real reason to play this one over the other one i just like this one more it's just i think it's more og then i'm playing two ground xeno three fossil dig so i want to talk about this why am i only playing two ground xeno i see a lot of decks playing three ground xeno and i don't think that's right but i don't think it's wrong either i personally don't think it makes sense because this really only combos with the babies fossil dig is a replacement for any of these cards so remember when i was talking about two card combos there's i think a total of nine different variations or ten different variations again it's in the course ov fossil dig is combo so fossil dig plus any one of these is combo okay so think about that one so that's one two three four five different combos and then of course if you see ov baby ov miss baby arco baby xeno like there's so many two different card combos so many different two card combos i should say and it's just absolutely insane the consistency of the deck so that's why of course we're keeping at these ratios and again ground xeno is only really good with baby so that's why i'm not playing three i'm just playing two and then uh, oh and ground xeno plus fossil dig is another combo by the way so that's why it's insane we're playing two double evolution pill as well uh the reason you play two instead of just one honestly i would just play one but if you draw it you can't actually pop with arco because you need to search so that's why i'm playing two because you need something to search so if, if you play one it kind of sucks so that's why i'm playing the two and then i actually decided to bring back the scrap package so it's two scrap raptor one scrap chimera and the reason i'm bringing this engine back is because this engine gives you access to a card in the extra deck that i'm gonna show you right now but i'm also playing keystone so this engine right here i'm gonna count this as part of the engine keystone is like all the end of the nemesis cards it shuffles it back a banished card to summon itself this is really good in this deck because it can shuffle back your misc and you only have one misc so if you banish misc to summon like an arco or banish misc summon baby this is gone forever so this is gonna put this back into your deck which is gonna give you follow-up this also if it's banished on the end phase of the turn it's banished it adds it back to your hand so it gives you more follow-up and another extender and the way you banish this typically is off your double evolution pill because it's a non-dino so that's really good and then what it gives you access to actually is the 
Nanachuria Beast. Nanachuria Beast, honestly, is a card that is like auto win against so many decks. Think about the Azamina Fire decks. They can't start Deception. They can't start Wanted. They can't start all the Bonfire. All of their power spells are dead. So this card is absolutely insane against today's meta in general. Like no matter what you see, right? And then if your opponent has, like you could say, oh, what if your opponent has Imprim for this or whatever? Okay, sure. If they're wasting their Imprim on this and the rest of your board is resolving, you're you're winning the game, right? And this gives you access to this because Scrap Raptor is an earth tuner and this is an earth monster. So you go into these two and your combo to go into this and it's very easy. It's a, it's, a, it's any of these two card combos I talked about does this for you. And the combo's in the, in the course as well. So if you guys want to know the exactly how all the combos work i've shown combos in the channel before but it's going to be there and then the last card is one azurne azurun azurune azurun whatever okay this card is really good as well now dino kind of uh, fell off i noticed when Appaloosa, Warlord, Savage, Dragon, they all got banned, right? Now, when they got banned, what happened was people like went off the scrap package because they're like, it doesn't make sense anymore. You can't make your level 8 Synchros, you can't make Appaloosa. And I was like, okay, what's another Link monster that you can make that's generic enough and also good into today's format? So I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, if you just brick, or you never brick on the deck, this deck is really consistent, but even if you do, or your opponent has like 3 4 hand traps, it actually happened to me once today, right? You just end on Silhouette Rabbit with the trap. Silhouette Rabbit can be destroyed by battle, so if you can live it turn with, the, with just that you're pretty good plus you'll have the disruption I and mean, typically you're not just ending on that anyways right so that's why i really really like this any two extra bodies you make the silver hat which will make this and that's really good as well so that's it for the package so that's, that's kind of like the engine and it looks like a big engine but again it's because it's so consistent i think it's very important to play these cards because you're really maxing out on all of the consistency in the deck which is the most important post side you can always side for every matchup so you always have a good matchup now for the non-engine i'm playing three ash three imperm two droll two Veiler. Uh, that's the hand traps I decided to play. I think uh, the variation in hand traps is really good because if you see multiple, like if you Imperm, Veiler, Ash Veiler is really strong as well in today's format. So I really like these. And then we're playing one Prosp one called by and one cross out you guys are gonna laugh at this and be like why are you playing cross out well the, the only card this deck actually really loses to is uh not so much rolls there's actually a combo in the course where i talk about how you play around roll you can also play around shifter and all of that stuff so you can actually play around these cards and full combo so you can you know, literally four negates through these cards but the reason I like playing this is because the Ash is a little bit tougher. Now, um, like all of these cards in general are good, but if they Ash like one of your starters, it does become hurtful, especially before you get to Misk. Misk protects you from like this stuff, but like you really want to be able to protect yourself, right? So Crossout essentially is just a second call by the grave for me, and I've been really liking it. Uh, this in theory could just be a third Veiler, but I just thought some protection would be pretty good. So that's why I like playing Crossout in the main deck. You always want to go first with this deck anyways. So it's 40 cards on the dot. I wouldn't change up the ratios. I really, really, really like those main deck ratios. Moving on to the extra deck here, Lars, MVP. This card is insane. Just negates is crazy. Just more, more than gates. There's combos where you just end on like, through hand traps, you can end on just like these two, which is four disruptions on its own. I'm playing one Solda. This is a card that people don't play, but I actually really like it against some matchups. So one, if uh, your opponent wants to like rip cards from your extra deck with like Kashir Unicorn or something, they'll try to rip this, and then you have this as backup. You could argue, wait, why don't you just play two Lars? There's actually matchups where this is better. Lars doesn't actually destroy the cards, it just negates. Whereas this bounces cards. So if your opponent is very much reliant on having extra bodies on the field to link climb, you can just bounce the cards, not on once per turn, right? So you bounce twice, and that could be really good, especially when you're setting up a negate like Dolka, because then you're setting up negates plus bounces, which is really good, right? Gets bodies off the board. Then we're also playing one Logia, of course. To be honest, this card doesn't really come up as much anymore because you have uh, Naturia Beast. So because you have Naturia Beast, this card is not as important. It's still really good to play though, of course, if you don't have access to the Chariot Beast. One Dugaris, of course. One Dweller. This, I really like this format. I guess against, I think against the Fire King matchups is really good. And it's also really good against Mermail as well. So I really like Dweller. This helps you OTK with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and it's just also consistency for you. So I'm playing one on one. One Baguska as well, just kind of a card that if you need the turn to, to play it out, and then on the turn three, you're going to be able to OTK. Baguska is a really good card for that. One uh, Anima, of course. One Pentastag. This is for OTK. One Scrap Wyvern, of course because we're playing the scrap package one silver hat rabbit this card is mvp of this deck now without like apples and stuff this card is mvp because that's what you're going to make with the extra bodies and typically you'll end on like ip plus silver hat rabbit and then uh these are really good in tandem with each other 
So one IP Mascarena, one SP. Uh, of course, SP is always going to be really good. One access code and then uh, one the Trinity Beast like I talked about. These cards are insane. Um, I think this is actually the perfect extra deck. Like I would not change this at all. There's nothing I would change. You could argue double Lars over Solda, but Solda actually comes up for me. So I really, really like this. I would not change this whatsoever. I think it's just so powerful and just so consistent. And it makes up for all of the inconsistencies of the deck, which is like setting up negates and stuff. Like of course these are negates, but what do you do with the extra bodies, right? So Civil Hat Rabbit IP is really good for the extra bodies. IP into SP is insane, right? So. That's it for the extra deck. And then lastly for the side deck, I thought my side deck was really good. And I always like to say that side deck is always going to be up to personal preference. Now, if you go to a, a locals that's all combo players, make sure you sign for combo. If you go to a locals that's all backward players, make sure you sign for that. My locals personally is a mix of a little bit of everything. So I like to side for a little bit of everything, right? Because I want to make sure that I can play into anything and still be successful with it, right? So for my side deck, I am playing uh, two thrust. I only like playing two because I, I, it's all you need really because you're searching a lot of the time um, your board breakers here. So typically if you find that the hand traps are not good enough, uh, you in your board breakers instead so one talent one harpies two lightning storm two raigeki and dark hole i actually really like this lineup i think this lineup is insane dark hole actually has some synergies with this deck as well if you guys are not familiar with dino essentially all your babies if they're destroyed they get to summon so if you are going second and you're not in a good spot you can just like normal summon a baby activate dark hole this will trigger in the graveyard and then you can kind of combo from there so it's kind of like instead of a third raigeki i just played one of this because if i can thrust into this sometimes it actually becomes beneficial for you so i like playing the one dark hole and because this deck can otk so easily i just like clearing bodies if i just clear boards like with these cards it's kind of like the tempi logic this deck otks really easily so if i can just clear the board i'm winning the game right so that's why i'm playing these and then for going first three d barrier and three solemn judgment just the best going first cards in the game in my opinion right now this deck does lose a little bit hard to stuff like dark ruler and whatnot uh evenly matched as well even though you can set up in the gates if you're not setting up the gates or they have like imperm evenly that could be really good as well so solemn judgment just protects you from that and then d barrier of course, it's just good into a lot of things in the meta as well. I find that this is actually really good, not just into Tempai. It's good into like Yubel and stuff too. Yubel is really uh, reliant on his fusion summoning, like with the Necro Quip and all of that stuff, Aerial Eater. So I really like that. And in general, this card is really good. So that's it for the side deck. 15 cards over here. And the guys, I'm telling you, Dino, this is a deck that I've been cooking up for a while. You guys know if you guys have been here for the, on the channel for a while that you guys, this is my one of my favorite decks of all time. I love Dino. And I've been thinking of ways to make it good. And I'm really happy that it's competitive again. And this is like a really competitive way to play the deck. You can play against fire. This actually has a pretty good fire matchup, to be honest with you. A lot of the new fire decks can't fit a lot of non-engine. And when decks can't fit a lot of non-engine in formats, it means that you're also safe to kind of combo. And if you're able to combo, you're winning the game all the time. And I will say, what this deck has that a lot of decks don't have is an inherent win condition. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno on its own is kind of like an OTK machine for you. So if, if you're going second, if you can just break a board or just get rid of the negates your opponent has, you drop this and you're winning the game. So Ultimate Conductor Tyranno is a main deck like OTK machine is, is insane, right? Uh, so that's it for the deck profile. And uh, I want to say thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. It's something that I've been cooking up. I want to show you guys the, I don't know if you got this on camera already. Table one, first place. You already know how it is. You guys are all laughing in the background because I cooked them all today. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a good time. I really like this deck. Make sure to check out Metafy. Again, if you guys want to see my course, I, I, I promise you that course is going to be worth it. I put so much time into it. There's so much information in that course. And again, a link will be at the top of the description. So uh, with that said, Sp uh, Spanko. I'm Spanko. Cameraman, do you want to see a pack opening? <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna get into a little pack opening here. I have a lot of Rhoda and I have some banana. There's a lot of packs. Let's just do it, honestly. Let's just do it. I don't think there's gonna be much in it, but let's see. I'll go quick because I know I've been talking a lot already. Let's see if we can get a Fualos. Nope, no Fualos there. That's all we're looking for, really. We're just looking for secret rares. QCRs would be insane as well. Uh, we have a Ilya Silva. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Two super so far. But well, we still have hope. We still have hope. We still have Bonanza in here. So six packs of Rota for prizing today. Holler has me in the wrong one. Yeah, we got six packs of Rota, I think, and then three packs of Bonanza. So nine packs total. I'd say it's pretty good if you ask me. Let's keep going though. We have four supers. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I grinded for weeks, a month. Actually, I would say about a month. Just to make this happen. Just to make this happen. <laughs> for four super rares. For five super rares. Okay, last pack of Rota over here. Let's see if we can get a Moltra Army or a secret rare. I mean, we've got an ultra rare, I guess. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Forget Rota, we have Bonanza. We have three more packs, guys. We'll make this happen. I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of everything. Oh, I thought it was a QCR off the bat. Okay, no QCRs there. Nothing there. But uh, Platinum Mar Marauding Captain. Um, yeah, also, I will say just before we end off this video, this video is also going to be in the course. 
So if you guys buy the course, you'll have access to this video forever. Wow, these packs suck. These packs suck. Oh, guys, please, 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 please. Oh, 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 QCR, baby. It's not the greatest QCR. Ah, no, it's not that bad, actually. That's not bad. Okay, you know what? All of our hard work, a month's worth of hard work, has uh, turned into one QCR. But check out the Metify course. I think you guys are going to enjoy it, and I promise it's going to be worth it. Thank you guys all for watching. Cameraman, shout out to you for being the best cameraman on YouTube. And with that, Spanko, signing out. Jeez.